Time to play with some clay. All right, the first thing I do is I have this program called Printmaster Gold. You can buy it online. It's not very expensive. It's Print, Print Master Gold 18. It's an old program, but it's the best program I've found for uh, doing what I'm about to do here. And I go up here and I search for art. And then I open from the disk and I go to my desktop, my folder. And I open up the uh, image, which in this case is a horse image. Now I'm going to use uh, this horse head to be the example of a horse head that I'm going to use. But I can't do that because the image that you get uh, from the book, and you can get this online too by just doing a search on Google, um, is not proportional because the artist, for some stupid reason, decided to turn the horse's head towards the viewer so you don't get the actual full length of the horse you get a foreshortened uh version of the head which throws everything off so i basically got to make a uh, take a measurement someplace else and i think what i'll do is i'll do that between the back and the bottom of the stomach. So what I have to do is I have to increase the stomach or the size of this horse to match the size of the horse that I'm going to be making. And uh, that's the size of the horse I'm going to be making right there. Yeah, that's good. So now I can print out the image and uh, print and send it over to my printer. And by the way, I'm, I've set, preset my uh, proportional uh, caliper uh, to the, uh, how much I want to increase the size from the original. And I'm gonna be taking measurements off this horse here, uh, this uh, maquette that I got from uh, uh, anatomytools.com. I don't know if they still got them available now because I know they sold out pretty quick, and so they're back ordered again. Um, but anyway, that's what I'm using for my reference for my horse. Well, as you can see. Uh, the uh, printout is a lot less than what it shows on the screen, which I kind of figured it would be. So I'm going to have to do this on a banner program. This is on a... Uh, so I'm going to have to... Let's see, I've got to make a new project. So let's see. Go up to File. Click on New Project. And then I... This is called a blank page project here. What I want is the banner program. And I'm going to click next and finish. And uh, actually I want to have that. Yeah, let's do that again. Next. And I want to have it uh, portrait because the horse is going to be, well, I'll explain everything in a second here. So I got, went to a portrait uh, with a banner program and finish. And I'm going to cut down. I don't know 
how to do this. See, I haven't done this for a long time. I just expanded it, and uh, I got to figure out how. Okay, I think I got it. There we go. And uh, now I put on the picture, and I open from the folder. I know this is hard to see, but it's uh, the best I can do. I don't have a way of recording what's on my screen of my computer. And I'm opening from the disk and opening the first one. And I need to go quite a bit bigger. Now I'm going to print this out. And see how it comes out. It's a trial and error thing to get it the right size. So I've just printed out a banner uh, program which prints it out on two pages. It can go up to as many pages as you need to make a big banner. And as you can see, I'm still not big enough, so I've got to go a little bit bigger. Okay, I've got the uh, image just about right. Just one more tweak, and I'll have it perfect. And it might be too big of a horse to do, but... Well, anyway, I'll have to decide that. I was thinking about doing another subject. I'm thinking about doing the fighting horses, but... I had an idea to do um, a horse... Uh, bucking with a cowboy on it in a uh, cattle drive camp and a bunch of cowboys playing cards and the horse decides to plant its front legs right on the blanket with all the cards and all the cowboys are kind of exploding away from the action kind of like an explosion and uh, I was thinking of doing that, but that might be too involved. I don't know. Anyway, that's just an idea I had. Anyway, I'm going to tweak this, and I'll uh, come back when I get this all put together. I did some playing around with the uh, caliper, and I moved it up to make the distance between the, the horse's head length, which is right there on that. I marked it on the paper here. Whoops. I marked the horse's head length on the paper here, and there's a horse head length. Oops, I've got to get my camera adjusted. Um, it's one head length uh, from the top of the backbone to the uh, bottom of the belly. And so now I've got this scaled, and it's probably one on one. <laughs> Let me just see. No, no it's, it's a little bit bigger. Well, as you can see, I've got the uh, print all put together, and uh, I've got the size I want. It's a little bit bigger than the, the maquette that I've uh, got here. And uh, let's see if I can get this up a little further. It's a little bit bigger than the maquette, which is fine. Um, I intended it to be that, so that I could uh, at least get the bone structure uh, sculpted and have it uh, proportional to the uh, horse maquette that I've got here. All right, that's going to be it for now, and I will uh, continue this uh, oh, probably in a day or two when I get the uh, armature made and figure out how I'm going to put it all together, and uh, we'll see how it goes from there. All right. Good night, everybody. Have a happy Monday. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.